Okay, let's start that again. Um, so this time we're going to talk about one of these odd filling um, diatomic, polyatomic ions, okay? So here we're going to use uh, molecular orbital theory to figure out, well, what's the bond order of this N2 plus, does it exist, all of that stuff, okay? So the one thing, again, you want to remember about the atoms, boron, carbon, and nitrogen, is that they, in their two P's, they make their pi bonds first, okay? So N2 plus, you're going to have N combining with what? N plus, right? Is everybody okay with that? So down here, and you'll see why I don't like to do these, because I'm too tall, I think. So 2s down there, 2s down there, remember we're only using the valence electrons. Actually, they should be in the equivalent energy. I'm not sure that they are. They should be straight across. Right. Okay. So like that. So this is the uh, sorry sigma 2s orbital. This is the sigma star 2s orbital. Okay. So just like how we did lithium and beryllium and all of those things. Up here is where we have the weird stuff. Okay. So now we're doing the two p's. One, two, three, like that. One, two, three, two P's. Okay, so what did we say? It makes the pi bonds first, these weird ones. So, one, two. And then the sigma bond next. Like that, okay? This should actually be. aren't the easiest thing to draw on the board as you guys can see. Okay, but now up here it does pi and then sigma like you would expect. Okay, so we call these ones pi 2p, pi 2p, sigma 2p. Like that. This one's called, what do you think? Very good. Pi star 2p. <laughs> pi star 2p. And this one? Sigma, Sigma star, star 2p. 2p. Okay, very good. Okay, is everybody okay with that? Okay, so now let's fill in what we got here. So, how many valence electrons does nitrogen have? You just n. Five. Five, Five right? So, one. Two, so again, off bow, um, Hun's rule, poly exclusion, right? So one, two, three, four, five, like that. What about N plus? How many electrons does it have? Four. Four, right? So one, two, three, four, like that. So now what do we do? We fill our molecular orbitals. So one, two, three, four, like that. And then here, one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. Like that. Remember, what did we say we expected the bond order to be? Well, one half less than three, right? Which would be two and a half, right? If you look at this, already you should be able to tell that it's going to be two and a half. Okay? So let's go ahead and and how do we know? Three to start off with three because from Vesper theory, right? We said when we build nitrogen in Vesper theory, it looks like that. So that's a bond. Okay. So, anyways, so now let's uh, draw the. Well, let's do the bond order first. Okay. So what's the bond order? Bond order is half the bonding electrons minus the anti-bonding electrons. So one half. How many bonding electrons do we have? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? And you could have just done these ones, but make sure you just do all of them, you know, in the big ones. Okay, so seven minus antibonding. Well, how many do we have? One, two. Okay? So seven minus two, and that would give you the same as five, right? So one half of five. And what does that give us? 2.5. Bond order of 2.5, like we were expecting. Okay? Would you expect this molecule to exist? Yes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay? Would this be a relatively strong bond or a weak bond, do you think? Pretty strong, right? Pretty strong. 2.5. And uh, is this paramagnetic or diamagnetic? Does it, is it attracted or not attracted? It is attracted, so it's diamagnetic, right? Okay, so it's got the one unpaired electron there, okay? Yeah, I mean, that's all it needs, though, is the one unpaired electron. And what you'll find, again, is that this is one of those reasons that you need to kind of compare molecular orbital theory with Vesper theory, because Vesper theory doesn't tell you anything about that, okay? It just tells you structural information. Um, last thing I'd like to do is do the entire electron configuration, okay? Or, yeah, let's do the entire electron configuration. So, okay, so... Remember, start from the bottom, sigma 1s, 2, sigma star 1s, 2, sigma 2s, 2, sigma star 2s, 2, pi 2p, 4, um, Sigma 2p1. Okay. So I can't remember what we had asked before. Is that all the questions that we had asked before? I think. Okay. So, any questions on this one? <coughs> 